everyone doing? I'm Biggs and welcome to Biggs' Home Cooking. Uh, now that summer is ending, uh, I decided to make some summer sausage. So I got myself about five pounds of some 80-20 uh, ground beef and we're going to add a little curing salt to that with some seasonings and we're going to smoke that out of my big chief. So uh, let's get this started and uh, stick around. Okay, so to make this summer sausage, uh, here's the list of ingredients. I got about, uh, this is for a five pound uh, recipe. Uh, I got a little over five pounds, five and a half pounds. Uh, we got four tablespoons of Morton Tender Quick. We have two tablespoons of coarse ground black pepper. I got two tablespoons of mustard seed and I got a tablespoon of each of onion powder and garlic powder granulated and then I have a what I got I got a half teaspoon of cayenne pepper and one teaspoon of red pepper flake all right so uh, let me uh, get this uh, mixed up and uh, we'll start mixing it into the meat all right I'll be back Okay, so for starters, I'm just going to mix all my ingredients together. This way it uh, distributes better throughout the meat. Okay. And I'll give that a stir up. Get that all mixed in and incorporated. Okay, that looks good to me. And now I'm just going to mix it into the meat. Here I'll dump my uh, chopped meat into the bowl. And I'm just going to spread that out. So that when I sprinkle on the, uh, the cure, it's already kind of spread out evenly. Okay, so there you have it. Let me sprinkle this all in here. Whenever you're curing something, you always want to make sure that it's distributed evenly throughout your, uh, your meat. All right, now we'll just start giving this a mix, working it until it's uh, thoroughly incorporated. This will take a few minutes or so. And uh, we'll be back when it's done. Okay, uh, got my meat all mixed. Uh, I just transferred it to a smaller bowl. So it makes for a little bit of easier storage in the refrigerator. Now what I'm going to do with this is, I'm going to cover this with some plastic wrap. And we're going to refrigerate this for uh, two to three days. And we're going to mix it each day once or twice so this way all the cure is incorporated into the uh, into the meat throughout all right I'm just gonna put another layer of film over the top here and refrigerate it and we'll see you in uh, two to three days take care okay so we're back in the kitchen here and we're gonna put together the summer sausage here's the meat it's been in the refrigerator for a few days and it's been mixed daily to distribute the seasonings and we're going to put them in these uh, synthetic casings. This is a 2 inch by 10 inch synthetic casing, which we will place in water for just about you know 15 seconds and to loosen it up, make it pliable, and we have some extra string to tie off the end. And then here's my sausage stuffer. You place your meat in here, put your casing over the tube, and then plunge the meat into the tube. Alright, so uh, let me show you a little demo here, and then we'll get the uh, sausage out on the uh, Big Chief electric smokehouse. Okay, I'm going to start out by uh, putting the uh, sausage meat in the stuffer. Push it down as you go along. Okay, you fill up this whole tube and it uh, 
it'll load one of the casings. Okay, so there you have that. Now I'm going to take one of the uh, casings and uh, loosen it up in the water. That doesn't take long. And then slide the uh, stuffer into the casing. Take the old plunger. Start plunging the sausage meat into the casing. Okay, so what you want to do is uh, take your uh, casing and twist it off to compact all the meat into the casing. And then we're going to tie it off with one of our pieces of string that we cut. Always good to have another hand, but uh, I'll make do. Okay, tighten that up, and we'll put one more knot on that. And there you have it. One little chub of summer sausage. So let me finish all these off. Okay, the chubs are all made up. Now I'm just going to uh, clean up my string here on the bottom a bit and just cut the uh, tail off here. Okay, so there you have it. Some summer sauces. A chub of. Okay, meet you out at the smoker. Okay, so we're out here at the Big Chief. Today I'm going to be smoking my summer sausage and uh, I'm going to be using some uh, cherry and hickory chips. Alright, so let me get my pan on a heating element and get that heating up and I'll uh, get my sausage hanging. Be back in a sec. Okay, so let me hang the sausage. Take the lid off here and uh, Pull out the rack and start hanging the sausage. Can't see it, I don't have my glasses on. It's like trying to thread a needle. Okay, there you have it. Let me drop this baby down in the old uh, smoker and uh, we'll let it go. Okay, there you are. Smoke away, my little chubbies. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, we're gonna let these smoke for not really sure but uh we're probably looking at anywhere from six to eight hours i'm looking to bring these up to a temp of uh you know 155 and uh you know we'll see how it goes i'll bring you out here and i'll keep you posted all righty smoke away okay uh, just out here checking on the uh, sausage uh, it's been five hours no it's been six hours and uh, as you can see I put a little insulating blanket around it because uh, it got a little cool it's about 62 degrees here right now um, so I got the unit running at it's 172 degrees Without the blanket, it was down to uh, 155. Okay, and I got a probe in one of the sausages, and that's at 135, so we got 20 more degrees to go. All right, just wanted to let you know what's going on, and uh, get back out here when the time is right. Okay, guys, we're out here. Uh, 
Ten and a half hours. Finally hit the mark. All right, so I'm going to uh, take out the uh, chubs of summer sausage. I'm going to bring them inside and uh, put them in some ice water. Okay, inside, so uh, I got a bucket and a container of ice water, and we're going to throw these in to stop the cooking. And we want to get these down to uh, like about 120, then take them out and let them air dry for about an hour and get them down to about 100. And then we can pop them in the refrigerator and uh, leave them there overnight and uh, slice them up the next day. Alright, so when that time comes, I'll give you a little, uh, a little look. Alright. Okay, here we are. Uh, the chub's been in the refrigerator overnight. I took one out, so uh, let's get into it and see what it's all about. All right. Mm. See if I can show you this. Looks pretty good. Let's give it an old taste. See some of the mustard seeds and the uh, black pepper in there. It's good. I'm liking it a lot. Um, you can serve this up with some uh, some sweet hot mustard, some cheese, and your favorite cracker. So, give this one a try. I think it turned out good. Looks good, tastes good. All right, so there you have it. All right, everyone, take care and have a good day.